and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some random champion casual Friday. We're going to be playing four decks today, each one with two random champions paired together, and then we're going to build the decks here on stream, um, and then we'll come back and we're going to be playing five games in ranked probably with each deck. Um, let's go ahead and, and determine our pairings. We don't know who we're going to have, so we have to do that first before we can make the decks. So there are currently 75 champions in Legends of Terra. There's a whole lot of them. We're going to roll the random number generator that, that's going to generate a number between 1 to 75 to see which champion we get, and then roll it again, and then those two will be our pairing. And so we will see with that. We, we're not going to use two of the same champion today. So if we roll like a one, Fizz is one, Teemo's two, Zoe's three, and so on, all the way down the list. Um, if we roll like a one and get Fizz, and then for the next deck, we roll one and get Fizz again, we'll re-roll so we won't use the same champion twice. All right, so one to 75, we got a random number generator. Click here. Boom. Well, we got 45. Okay. So we'll just kind of go down the columns here with the 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. The very next champion is Vagar. Whoa, we got a new champion for our first one. All right, let's see who Vagar is going to be paired with. Vagar plus 50. So we only have to go a little bit down. So 40. So Vagar's 45, then 46, 47, 48. 49, 50, Vagar Garen is our pairing for our first random champion combination. All right, we're going to make a Vagar Garen deck. I, I'm i sure this is going to be really good. All right, so there's our first champion combination. Maybe we should play these in normal and not ranked. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, anyway. Uh, next champion, 63. All right, so Garen's 50, so that means 51, 52 for Karma. So then scrolling down, 52, we have 56, 60, and we're looking for 63. So 61, 2, 3, Vladimir. All right, we get to play some Vladimir. All right, who's going to be Vladimir's partner? Number six. All right, that's way up at the top. So Vladimir plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Elise. All right, Vl Vladimir Elise. So we have Vagar Garen, Vladimir Elise. We're going to have 14. All right, so 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14. We got Fiora. Fiora plus 51. All right, so 14, 15, 16, and then 20, 24, 28, 32. 36, 40, 44, 48, 49, 50, 51. All right, we got Heimerdinger. Okay, we have some crazy combinations here today. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have Fiora Heimerdinger. Okay, maybe this this is for normal, not ranked. <laughs> we got some champ. We got some random champion combinations. That's for sure. All right, so what do we got for our last one? 35. Okay. 35, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 33, 34, 35. We have Nocturne. Nocturne plus 38. So just three more. So 35, 36, 37, 38. All right, Renekton. Hey, look at that. Nocturne gives them vulnerable, then Renekton challenges. I guess that could maybe work. So we have Nocturne Renekton. So we can even play Merciless Hunter, which is just a three mana Nocturne. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna kill our own spiders with Vladimir to drain them. <laughs> oh man, we have some we have some work to do today. We're, so the, the goal is to build the best decks that we can with these random champion combinations. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Let's let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, all right, here we go. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some random champion casual Friday. This is always a lot of fun. By always, I mean this is the second time that we're doing this, but this is going to be probably a staple on Fridays moving forward. So y'all on YouTube, of course, watching this on a Saturday, that's what that means. Uh, we're, we did our random number generator, rolled the dice, got four random champion pairings, as y'all saw right at the intro of this video. 
And our first one here was Vagar Garen. <clears throat> so putting together Vagar Garen, realized that Vagar does not have to be Shadow Isles. I was thinking, you know, like Shadow Isles Garen at first, but Vagar can also be Bandle City. Either way that we go, between Shadow Isles or Bandle City, we're not going to really have enough Darkness cards to really support Vagar that much, to be honest. They're just not, like, they're kind of split, you know, half and half. So we're going to, we're not going to be a great Vagar deck to begin with. But I think Bandle City is just a better region than Shadow Isles right now, just kind of in general, because there are a lot of good quality Bandle City cards that are just, are just good cards that, you know, create other cards and you can get a ton of card advantage. This Conchologist, this Loping Telescope, these two have been amazing two drops. Aloof Travelers is a really good quality four drop. And so we can just play cards that just give us a lot of card advantage. Pokey Stick does Trinket Trade. We can manifest different spells. And so basically what we're going to have here, decide to go Bandle City and just play good cards. You know, we're, are we a very good Vagar deck? No. Are we a very good Garen deck? Eh, not really, but I mean, Garen is just an awesome five mana card to control the board, and that's going to be something that's going to be necessary. It's a great blocker, um, things like that, and that's going to be necessary for like all of our other cards that we're just going to be playing a long game. So uh, somebody in chat was asking, what's our what's our win condition? And it's basically just um, running our opponent out of resources. All of these things, not all of them, but most all of these cards are just going to draw other cards, including even Vanguard Redeemer, drawing units. And we're just going to have lots and lots of card advantage. We'll have the Dark Bulb Acolyte create darkness along with Vagar. And uh, that's going to kind of be it. We'll have this Bright Steel Formation at the top end just because it's super strong. And that's going to be our deck. So here we go, Vagar Garen. This is what we, we ended up with. We're going to be playing in normal. I uh, talked with Twitch chat. decided let's let's play these four decks in normal because we got, we got some jank here. So we got these janky decks. Uh, so yeah, instead of taking them all to ranked all the time. We'll just play them in normal and, you know, maybe get some more wins or just, like, play some better games, hopefully. So, we have Lulu Poppy to start off with, the most popular deck in the format. I need to mulligan one of the four mana units. De definitely do not want to keep two four mana units. I'm not sure which one, though. If we mulligan Vagar because we don't really have other Darkness stuff and Vagar is just kind of in our deck. That makes sense. Or, you know, we keep Vagar because it's a champion and we try to um, grant... Darkness everywhere, one extra damage a couple of times. That also makes sense. I think we'll do that, because, you know, we're a Vagar deck. So Lulu Poppy is just everywhere. <laughs> it's it's the deck we play against, like, 40% of the time. Normal, normal, ranked, anywhere. Doesn't matter. Ugh. I can't kill that thing right now. I'm gonna take the single combat though to go along with this Garen for later. Let's take the trickster. On it and on him. Manifest is such a good I don't know if that counts as a keyword. I guess it's a keyword. It's such a good keyword. Pokey stick. Do you prefer Lulu Poppy or Sivir Action? I would rather play against Lulu Poppy than Sivir Action. Because Lulu Poppy, Lulu Poppy, if they don't have their champions, the deck's not that that good. It's not. But then it's also like like Sivir Action is also, you know, like before the nerfs and stuff was going like all the vulnerable stuff and then just like challenging and just killing all your stuff with that. That was frustrating. Like, Merciless Hunter is a frustrating card. Quest will be over quicker than you can fry a ferret. Quicker than you can fry a ferret? Serving lead. <laughs> yeah, Yordle Smith makes life Trans difficult. seem like that great of a rally rally deal four that was not a very good rally 
We should probably continue to build to the board. Yeah, they're going to be able to fill their board with double Bandle City Mayor. So what makes this deck so good is all the created cards. It's Manifest is like the new Invoke. It's the new Targon. But we're going to have, you know, like infinite cards in hand as well. Just whether or not we'll have enough mana to play everything and not die. Because all their cards are going to be a lot cheaper than ours with the Bandle City Mayor. Okay, so I like that they're spending a whole lot of mana on one card. I I like that. Yeah, that levels up Garen. Does mean I can't really play anything else this round. All right, it means they concede though. Cool, cool. There we go. Vagar Garen with a win. We are one and zero. All right, we got darkness control. Okay, so we don't really need pokey stick against darkness control, but we want things that uh, replace themselves and get us other. I guess pokey stick's not that bad. It does draw a card. I don't know. Maybe I should be keeping pokey stick. You know what? Second thought. I'll keep pokey stick. Mini morph definitely for a champion. Not gonna mini morph anything else. This is weird. Moon glow for Garen? Or do we just take another like big threat? Like this Ranger is like a big threat that they have to deal with. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we just take a big threat. Okay, so their darkness does an additional point of damage. Big head, big brain. So their darkness does two additional points of damage. I guess. Maybe I don't block and cast darkness in the next round. To get out of my hand. Keep the Acolyte alive. So good start for my opponent. They got, you know, these good two drops. I'm hoping they don't just play Vagar this round. That would make me sad. Save spell mana. I know I could play Loping Telescope, but I'm gonna save spell mana. I don't really imagine that we're gonna win this game with Darkness dealing five damage every single round. They're like, you know, five damage to everything, especially, you know, like we're trying to play Garen. I don't think we're winning this game. So my thinking here, we get their Vagar down to, to three damage next round. You know, like our darkness will do three. I mean, the game's not over. Like we're we're gonna have to outgrind them, which is going to be difficult against a darkness deck, of course. That creates a free spell, like darkness, all the time. Witness 
Hmm. Alright, so Vagar's gonna level up. This thing does 7 damage, it just kills it. A good darkness hand. Transform him before he levels. Like, where you, it, Oh, just the Vagar? If I do. If I would have many more of the Vagar this round, then we're taking so much damage from them just attacking. And they have all their mana. Like, they have, they have all their mana to use, and then they also have 8 power in play, and I have absolutely nothing. So, like, they not only have 8 power, but then, you know, with all their mana, like, they could put. You know, like, let's say they play, like, a Senna or something, we're taking 12, like, the game's over. And then, yes, another Vagar would be leveled up if they have another one. Okay, so that has to be game over, right? Because they just continually make... like So there's a Hidden Pathways right there. It's fleeting, but... You can just continually make more Darknesses. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Hey, what's up, Boop? Thanks for joining in. Alright, so I need the darkness to grow one more. Like that. So now I'll do four. They can, of course, glimpse beyond and draw two more cards. So that that does keep my, you know, the Vagar at 5 out of 12 instead of 9 out of 12. Oh, man. That's not so good. Yep. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Gotta kill the Vagar so it doesn't just do nine to my Nexus. But we're this isn't gonna end up well for us. Wow. Alright, one on one. Really, really good darkness hand from my opponent. They increase that damage of the darkness immediately having two of the two drops, then Vagar. Or is it just fine? Okay, we got a kind of different Vagar deck as well. Vagar Victor. Really do play against like the same regions <laughs> that you have all the time in this game. 
Or like the same, you know, they like similar type stuff. So we're playing Vagar, we played against Vagar twice. I don't really mind having the telescope and the octopus trade. That I don't really mind that at all. I wonder if we should take the scar grounds. I mean, I'm either taking trickster or scar grounds. The scar grounds is pretty interesting, right? Against Bandle, PZ. I don't, I don't know. Like we have a bunch of small things though. Let me just take the trickster. That's pretty interesting. We'll kind of see how this game plays out. Death Ring? I don't know, maybe I should maybe I should go with the scar grounds. Don't have a great answer for that one right now. Grant something challenger? I should have I should have played Vagar. Yeah, I should have just played Vagar. I was you know double spelling with these two, but I should just play Vagar. Um radiant strike. Yeah, this can yep, this can manifest any epic in the game. Really powerful. We had Destiny's Call or the Messenger. Um, yeah, it's very powerful. Or just this two mana, like a two mana two one is is just fine. You know, it's a fine body. You just get this kind of selection. I'm trying to decide between these two. I guess I'll go Messenger. Scout? Ooh, Scout's not bad. We get, we can block when we have Sharp Sight, Radiant Strike, that kind of stuff for blocking. I should have played the Vagar last round to grow the darkness. I would have been able to last round. Those are just a whole bunch of spells to kill Vagar. I'm not mad about that. Yeah, I'm not mad about that at all. So that's going to currently do 2, 3, 4 damage. I can Radiant Strike and grow. Um, but then if I do that, then I don't block Victor too well. I guess we just do it. <laughs> no, Victor's first keyword's not always Spell Shield. I guess you just have a experience with it. You know, weird experience with that, but no, it's not always. They don't really need any of those, uh, any of the, like either of those spells. Play new Vagar. Our ancestors are watching. Come, come, it's showtime. Hopeless, honestly.
I have a lot of units in hand. I kind of need to clear up space. They do not have as many units in hand. Alright, Victor's about to be leveled up. This will level up Victor. Yeah, Victor is the arsenal with extra steps, basically. I am still surprised they printed that arsenal card. Tough. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Whoa. Did a progress day? That was from That must have been from Flash of Brilliance. So basically, get to choose which one of these I want to have them discard. Well, I guess Hidden Pathway still costs five, so I guess this one, this thing costs five because Loping Telescope made it. So I'm not sure exactly which one I, they would discard from the Aloof Travelers. cards in their hand. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Okay, they discarded Jenny. I would have rather had them discard the draw two. So they had less cards. All right, cast in this darkness, so we get to play Vagar next round. I got big plans for this place. We will not hesitate. Really. So block, block, trade, trade. Obviously not the best trades for me, but I, I'm just going to take trades because our deck just has so much card advantage that that's, that's all we want to do is we just want any kind of trades. Defense isn't bad. Just have access to to, to protect Vagar. That's not bad. I'm just gonna save my spell mana. Round start next round. You know, the darkness will my darkness will do four damage. We'll kill the Vagar. Will not level up Vagar. I... Yeah, maybe we just wait till next round to cast this darkness. To... Or they're just gonna kill Vagar. So wait till next round. We can have this do five, and then five levels up Vagar. Whoa, that's awesome. I'm happy about that. That is not killing Vagar, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so that's a champion in hand. One more mana for Garen.
All right, so their darkness gets to do a lot of damage if I do that. I don't want to do that much damage. We know, of course, that last card is still a champion. So I'm hoping Aloof Travelers discards the champion. I'm guessing it's Vagar. Yep. Alright, there goes Vagar, and that's the game. Aloof Travelers being awesome. And we're 2 and 1. Zoe Nami is an awesome deck. Zoe Nami. Send back the Redeemer. I don't know. Redeemer's not bad. I'll send it back, but I don't know. Maybe I should keep it. <laughs> On second thought, I guess I'll keep it. Oh, how about that? That's happened twice now today that we keep three of our cards, Mulligan one, and then that card that we were going to Mulligan, we see it again. All right, we'll give plus two cost to the line them up, I guess. Minus one power and vulnerable to Sparklefly? Sure. That makes Sparklefly not so good. They got Nami in play. Good, my mother's friend. I totally understood that. So I don't get to create a I need to create a darkness. But we're gonna just increase the damage of this one. Many more of this Nami. Yep. I will save my people. Definitely gonna many more of the Nami. Definitely gonna many more of that Nami. How much damage are you dealing? Four? Awesome. They didn't have, you know, like the plus zero, plus two card like they played earlier to protect that. That's awesome. Very happy about that. Loping Telescope going infinite. My loot travelers are probably going to be making them discard the line them up. That'll kind of be my guess. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. 
Yeah. Which honestly, they, they probably kind of prefer. Like, that probably wasn't so bad for them. Wow. Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought they hit the 2 1 also. Never mind. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We need more ways to make darkness. Our darkness is going to be pretty strong whenever we do make it. Have them discard a card. Deal with me. You would test my steel. So now new Vagar will be able to create a new super cool star chart, so that's good. I've trained my whole life for this. Or not super cool star chart, darkness. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of the Zoe. Uh, but yeah, I'll make a new darkness. Yeah. That's the thing our deck... that This is basically what our deck does. We just completely outgrind the opponent. That's what Vandal City has that opportunity to do that. Vagar Garen is three and one. Oh, Zoe Nami again. Not confident it's going to work out as well this time. But you never know. These are all keeps, except for the Aloof Travel. Like, Aloof Travelers is awesome, but we can send it back. We don't necessarily need it. Ugh, I'd rather have Aloof Travelers than that. Well, maybe, maybe not. This is a tough choice. Oh, no, no, no I meant to attack? The, the choice was too tough. I didn't attack for one. Haha, -ha, still get it back. So, you know, you can go either left or right. I went right. I felt like that was the right decision. I didn't want to be left out of a good choice. Oh, yeah. hmm. They're going to spell thief my prank. Making Concerted Strike or a Mini Morph cost 2 mana would make those cards very expensive. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Assume they're going to have like little small 1 health elusives. Or close to it. Down to 14, they're just having their Nami be leveled up, basically. That's all they want. They want leveled up Nami. The or be swept away. I can do 4 damage to Nami with 2 2s. Yeah, do they, I wonder if they thought that was going to be leveled up once they played it. Um, I probably need to mini morph that. Yes, we got a fleet Admiral Shelly. That is great.
me. Whoa. Whoa. So maybe I don't need to... Maybe I don't need to mini-morph that. Maybe, maybe we can just... Concerted Strike. With it also taking the other three. Yeah, sure can, Arose. Send me the link. And line them up. Should mean this poison dart gets to kill this now, just one mana. You gotta think they're gonna cast this knock him down, right? With the, with it being fleeting. Wow, they did not. I guess we still kill Zoe. Pretty good about this game. I'm one mana off from being able to play this and the darkness. Oh no! Don't make mini morph cost eight. <laughs> it's like major morph. All right, playing this so we can start increasing the damage of the darkness. Awesome. Definitely getting rid of fleet. Admiral Shelley is important. Let's see what we get. Boogie stick? Take boogie stick. I probably don't even need to challenge this powder keg. But it's only one damage. Might as well. We definitely played some good spells. So what do they want? You're gonna take darkness, my old friend. Turn it into my new enemy. Trinket trade. I'm glad they didn't do this while they're like why didn't they just do this while the fleet admiral Shelley was alive? Could have been like growing. Purple fish, at least. Okay, so they just spent two mana to do nothing. Okay. Maybe they're gonna go infinite. There's, the card advantage Bandal City has is simply re insane. Like, this is not Demacia getting us all these cards. That'll do. We are four and one. How about that? Now, it was it was normal. It wasn't ranked. But still, we beat Lulu Poppy. And we beat Zoe Nami twice. Only loss was to Darkness Control. And then we also beat another Vagar... Victor deck. Wow, Vagar Garen. Okay, so like I said, like we're, are we, were we the best Vagar deck? No, but Darkness was really nice to have at different times. You know, like it was just creating that Darkness was pretty nice. And were we the best Garen deck? No, but you know, Garen's pretty big and stuff. It wasn't really about Garen. It's just this Bandle City stuff, just like these uh, six cards right here, not even really so much the Acolytes, so like the other five are really, really strong and just so cheap and, and, uh, yeah, just, just really strong. We just kind of rode, rode those cards. And then Aloof Travelers was awesome for us. And definitely helped out multiple times, making our opponents discard some real expensive stuff. And then we had Van very good Vanguard Redeemer because we had like all these like small units that were dying a lot, like the Otterpus and these other things, 
they would die we'd play vanguard redeemer and then we would draw like another one of these things that would then create something else and you know just kind of snowball from there so looked pretty good looked pretty good mini morph was important a couple of times i could see playing a second copy of that instead of the bright seal formation if it turns out we don't really need the bright seal formation but there we go that's that's what random champion casual friday is all about just kind of play some random champions together, Vagar and Garen, and try to build a deck and see how we do. So that was a success. First deck today was a success. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you ever wanted to play a Vagar Garen deck, give it a try. You know, like this this listed pretty well. Um, if you want to do something different, you know, than what any any of your friends are doing or anything like that. Um, and yeah, let me know how you like the random champion casual Friday and let me know how you like it in like ranked or normal. Um, you know, that all that as well. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.